For the shield, I'm gonna use two 260s. I have a dark blue and a white, but you can use two of the same or two different. All right, go ahead and blow the first one up here. So I was about two finger lengths left at the end there. And then this one just has a little bit left over, uninflated. All right, I'm gonna start with that darker blue one. Had a little bit less air than the other one did. I'm gonna start right there. Twist that in place. I'm gonna do the next section a little bit smaller than it just made. This is gonna look like a sword here for the main section of the shield. Now I'm gonna do a small bubble right here. Twist that in place and I'm gonna pinch twist that in a little bit. But first I'm gonna make the other side the same as the one I had made previously. So wrap that in place. Now you're gonna do the same process on the other side. We'll twist that in there and make a one inch bubble. And then bring that back around so it matches the other side, twist it in. And you're gonna twist that all in place right there. So this is very similar to a simple sword design. Make your adjustments. And at this point we can make those pinch twists right there and there. So we'll bring those in, just twist it around a couple times. So it looks like that. And do the same to the other side. All right, so that's what it looks like at this point. And we're gonna twist in right there for the top of the shield. So make a twist right there. And then we're gonna bring that back around. And that's gonna be the handle of the shield right there. So hold it all into place. And I'm just gonna twist a one inch bubble on the very end. It's gonna help me lock that into place. So I'm gonna use that nozzle there on the other side, the start of the balloon. I'm gonna twist that around a couple times. Make sure you get it nice and snug there. And that's the main part of the shield. All right, we'll grab that next balloon we have. So we're just gonna wrap it in right there on the top of the shield. And go ahead and make a one inch bubble there and you're gonna pinch twist that. That'll help lock in that nozzle we just put in as well. I bring that around a couple more times, make sure it's secure. All right, now we're gonna go down the sides of the shield there. So I like to arc it where I think it looks good. And then I pick my spot to make a twist. Twist it right there. And now I have that pinch twist we made earlier to lock it in place. Bring that around. All right, now we're gonna continue on around the shield and then just eyeball where you like it to be. Just make sure you don't make this too short, otherwise it pulls that bottom part of the shield over to one side too much. All right, so make the next one the same size as the one you just made. So I like to match it up next to each other. Twist, right there. And then I'll bring that over on the other side and then lock it into that pinch twist. All right, now we'll continue up the balloon. You want this side to match the one we made first there. So I like to eyeball it, make sure it looks good. It's got a nice arc to it. And then I can make my twist in the right spot. 
And then I just lock it in place on that pinch twist we just made in the beginning, that white balloon. All right, we don't need that, so go ahead and take it off. Let's pop that off right there. And make your tie. And then hide that into place. And that, my friends, is the balloon shield with just two balloons. It looks great. Good job, guys.